hey guys uh in this video we will see uh, how to create a lookup field in salesforce using visual flow so to go for the flow uh, we have to admin setup menu and in quick search search for the flow in workflow and approval menu and the example i am uh, taking here is like let's say we want to search all lead and selected lead should be referenced uh, in our next screen so uh, you might be knowing that uh, lookup icon looks like this on normal salesforce ui so let's say this is campaign and when you search on the lookup icon uh, you can search anything and the list of items will appear here now unfortunately we don't have any uh, lookup component for the flow so let's see first how flow looks like so i already have one lookup demo but for this video i will create a new lookup demo for you so uh this interface is known as a canvas for visual flow uh, or it is also known as a flow so it's a little bit slow this little pop-up will appear uh, with some video tutorials about visual workflow uh, initially uh, this tool was known as a visual workflow but now we refer this as a flow so i'm closing this now this is canvas and these are all the elements available to be used in flow so if we see we have screen and we have some logical component and then we have some component to perform dml operation but we don't see any component related to the lookup field because that's not supported in a flow so how we are gonna do that so uh, let's start uh, in any lookup field first we normally search uh, let's say in the scenario this is a lookup field campaign so whatever we will enter here it will search in the name field of campaign so let's try to have kind of the same functionality maybe not the same ui so i'm creating a new screen and name of the screen let's say is lead input and then go on add field tab on screen and drag a text box and if you click here field setting will automatically open and i will say uh txt lead name oh sorry label so label i will say lead name unique name would be automatically appear here so that's fine i will say okay so what i want to do basically here is like <clears throat> whenever the flow will be launched this screen will appear here so first of all let's mark this component as a start element and let's save uh, this flow first so i will say look up demo youtube and two types of flow sorry three types of flow are here auto launch flow flow so of course we will be using a flow type and save it so once save it is giving some warning saying that the screen is not used anywhere or something of course because this is a single component right now anyways try to run it and see how it looks like so this is how it will look like this lead name let's say i will search test or roam something so when i should i click on the next button all the lead uh with that that name should appear so let's create a new screen here and new screen will say uh, matching lead and save it before going ahead so basically if we search in a lookup field if we search any component here it displays the text but internally it's saved as an id so we need to capture id so before going ahead we have to create few variable to hold that id so i am going on let's say not explorer i will go on the resources tab i will create a new variable now if you see there are many types of the variable so if you mix and match it would be very confusing for your flow so i would always suggest start variable var as a prefix to avoid any confusion so i will say where selected lead id and input in our output i will leave it as right now as a private 
and uh, no mostly we should use the input and output so the advantage of using input and output is like you can directly set this variable by launching flow using the url something like uh, variable name and this so when you will start flow uh, this variable flow will search for this variable and assign this value automatically so that is the advantage we will maybe we will discuss uh, later on this so right now just mark input and output is always safest just to avoid any confusion and as a best practice we should always set a default value i am saying that data type is text so these are the all available data types of variable we can define in flow so in the default value you can go on the global constant and select empty string so that's it let's see we have one variable that is a selected lead id now one of the advantage of this solution is like when you search for the lookup only name is displayed but in our solution we can display as much as element of the selected element which are, we are going to choose so i am saying okay I, I need a lead id and let's say i need a lead name as well so i am saying where lead selected lead full name let's say and i am saying uh input data type is again input and output just on safer side and i am setting uh, initial value from the global constant that is the empty string always best practice and then connect this screen to this screen and then open this screen again now we need to add a fill here now now if you see we don't have any lookup fill so basically what i will do i will provide a list of radio buttons here so let's say radio button and on the fill settings say matching lead records and we are saying that okay the choices would be uh, dynamic so this is very important part so it will open a new pop-up window and we will say search lead and value type is a text because value we are saying that okay id would be selected as a value now which object we need to search so it is saying okay we are saying okay search lead object and now what is what should be the condition to search the lead so i am saying okay search check if name contains whatever value we entered on the previous screen so we will go on the screen input field and there is only one field which can work as an input so that's the lead name lead name of previous screen so that's fine that's it so all the uh, options would be available here matching lead now when the user would select an option button what should be happen so first what should be visible to the user for the matching lead so we are saying okay display them name and when the user will se select a name then display uh, display value as a id just run safer side now it might be possible that the matching result so many matching results are there and so uh, it just always safer side to add a limit so we are saying okay display only first 50 records and if you want you can sort result as well now when a uh, visual flow will search for the lead record and when we'll select any record which field of lead you want to assign in any variable so we are saying okay assign id of selected lead record in variable uh, let's say lead id and the same time we are saying assign name column as well in a variable we are saying full name and that's it we are okay now save it first just to make sure we are not losing anything now we have this screen as a starting screen whatever entered on this screen it would be appear on this screen now just make sure whatever the lead so let's see our work process first uh, progress first how do it look like so i am launching a flow again and i am saying let's say test and next okay there is no matching record here let's go back search for let's say om okay so we got one record here let's create one more record 
saying okay um yeah company cts that's my company cognizant save it now try to go back on previous screen search for the text om and go on and now we can see there are two records available so that's fine i mean it's working fine now what i want whatever the value i select that value should be available on the later part of the flow that is the main agenda of lookup field so again uh, the lookup is not supported but of course we have a solution and a kind of workaround so instead of showing lookup on a so let me okay anyways we already know how the lookup looks like so we'll go back here now let's create a third screen here and i'm saying screen name maybe result we can say and in the result i am just displaying two text boxes so i am i am saying uh, lead id i'm saying selected lead id is and we can reference any variable here anything available any component available in our flow so i am saying okay this variable set up in the previous screen so that's fine now just add one more field here again a type of text and i'm saying lead name as a unique name you can name it anything i'm saying selected lead name is again go back choose your variable so the reason uh, i'm uh, creating this screen is like just to demonstrate that whatever variable we have set up on this screen will be available on the later part of this flow so let's connect this and save it let's launch our demo back so i'm saying okay let's close everything click on the run button again i'm saying okay search for records uh, of lead which has a name word as ohm and let's go back we have two record available go on next screen and see if whatever we selected appears or saved in a variable so that's it id is selected name is selected now the advantage of this solution over the lookup field is like whatever value you have selected or whatever record you have selected here you can easily get more than one field so like in next screen we have selected only two fields but you have as many as fields selected of that record and which fields to select is very easy uh, in dynamic choice you you have a setting here available uh, at the bottom of the page saying whatever the record you have selected which record which field you want to set up by which variable so i am saying okay get id of selected uh, record in this variable get name of the selected record in this variable and so on so thank you very much for watching my channel uh, please subscribe to my youtube if you liked it please give a thumbs up i would be glad if you post your comment and feedback that what kind of more would you like to hear from me thank you very much and have a good day